Okay, it's not that my voice is not hard enough, but it's that this is recorded, so uh, it can actually uh, um, record my voice. So welcome everyone. Uh, not a lot of people, so please intervene in between if you want to, right? I mean, I'm at the same time, I'm just going to sort of go through the PowerPoint presentation because I, I do think uh, you know there's a lot of information to communicate. Uh, and it's, it's general that in these live uh, uh, meetings uh, on our international uh, master digital media and communication, uh, digital media and society, uh, that, that it's not a full room because a lot of the international students that are potentially interested are not here yet, right? So that's uh, generally what happens. The online meetings are more full. So without further ado, my name is Stef Aupers and um, uh, I am uh, a professor media culture uh, working at the Institute for Media Studies at Communication Sciences, but I'm also the program director um, uh, of uh, communication sciences and that is the reason why I'm here to present indeed our master uh, of communication sciences, digital uh, media uh, and society. And this is Elisabeth uh, sitting right here and we are basically together responsible for the master. So if there are any questions uh, afterwards here, but also of course uh, through email or whatever, you can reach us, right? So that is important, I think, uh, to start with. Good. So very shortly, uh, the Master of Communication Sciences uh, is, that we offer for international students um, is uh, uh, very much a research-based program. So that means uh, that the, 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 the program uh, is very much about uh, an academic program that we offer um, uh, where it's very much about uh, theory and it's very much a theory about digital media and society. It's very much about uh, methods on how to do research. It's about uh, talking about media, digital media and society uh, on an evidence-based uh, level. Uh, and that is, we think, uh, very important because uh, on the effects and the influences of digitalization, whether that is the effects of social media or whether that is the effects of AI, um, there's a lot said, there's a lot of talk, and what we want to teach our students is not only to talk about this stuff, but to actually uh, become an expert in the field and, uh, and uh, have knowledge of the literature, of the studies out there, but also do your own research in that sense. I will outline that in more detail. Um, so what we do, and this is the topic, staying close to the topic of our master, is we study the nature, effect, and meaning of um, uh, digital media. And again, the, the basic assumption of this, this master is then that very shortly uh, digital media, whether that is the, well, personal computer, whether that is the internet, whether that is social media, whether that is Facebook, Twitter, or artificial int intelligence, changes our personal life fundamentally. Like when we stay, when, you know, when we get up, we look at our smartphones and we connect immediately with others online, on social media, uh, through our smartphones, so we have an immediatized communication or conversation there. Uh, but it also changes fundamentally not only our personal lives or social lives, but also different domains varying from education, the economy, uh, news um, and news production, um, uh, arts uh, and politics, uh, and all these different domains. So that is, the you could say, the, the very broad uh, topic or the very broad domain uh, that we want to cover <laughs> uh, in our uh, master communication sciences. Um, like again, digital media will reshape society in various domains. Digi digital media inform the way individual people 
live, think, and act. Uh, uh, and again, so different topics are at the heart and at the core of what we're studying. So to give you a little bit more insight in the, uh, the topics, the domains uh, that are embedded in the theoretical courses that we give, because uh, I think it's important to make a distinction between the different types of courses that we offer. And, and obviously, if you're interested, do uh, uh, look in detail uh, uh, at the program, right? Because I think that's where it starts. If you think the topic is interesting, if you are interested in digital media and more interested than just, you know, um, immersing yourself in it, playing games or being involved in social media, but just interested in what the effects are and what the workings are, what the influence is, uh, you might be interested in this study. So do go further than this presentation and, and check out the program in more detail. Uh, I think that's important to start with. These are some of the theoretical courses that we're providing uh, in the first semester. Uh, we have the, uh, the courses Introduction to Digitalization, Psychology of Social Media, Production and Consumption of Digital Media. Just to take out one example, uh, the Introduction uh, to Digitalization is the course that we have in the first semester. Uh, and it has multiple elements. Obviously, it's an introduction in what digitalization as a process is and what it does to individuals and society and the different domains therein. Uh, but more than that, it's also a course where we try to build a community, if we can use that word, uh, of our students. Because obviously, as an international master, uh, it is a, uh, um, um, an education where we have, you know, on average, one third of our students this year, we have, I think, 45 students on, and, uh, thereabouts. It, one third is Flemish, but two thirds of the students come from China, from, come from uh, Japan, come from different uh, countries in Europe, uh, come from, from everywhere, basically. So we want not only to teach on what is digitalization, but in this course, we also want to build a community. Um, and we also, uh, you know, go to different places in Leuven, uh, organizations where professionals work with digital media. So we try to combine uh, academic knowledge, uh, professional knowledge from the field, and create a community in this, uh, in this, uh, in this particular course. At the end of this course, Students are invited, and this is the final evaluation, just as an example of some of the courses that we give, are invited here to actually organize a, um, a seminar on their own, right? So they have to invite speakers from the field uh, and academics uh, to make them talk and have a debate about uh, specific topics related to digital media. It might be cyberbullying, it may, may be deep AI and deep fakes, it may be uh, um, um, uh, digital marketing. It can be all kinds of topics. They have loads of choices there. Uh, but this is an example of a course where we bring together different things, academia um, and the professional field, but also take care of the students and try to uh, to build a community, basically. So this is just one example, and I will not go, obviously, into detail about every particular course. So do read some of the stuff if you're interested. But psychology of social media, uh, production and consumption of digital media, and in the second semester, we have theoretical courses related to digital marketing, right? Marketing is no longer only about newspapers or, you know, television. It's all about digital marketing and how you do it and what the effects are online, on social media, et cetera, et cetera. Human-computer interaction, what is the effects, what are the effects of, of, of computers on humans in their interaction and vice versa? Uh, so this is the, these are some of the courses to give you an insight on what you will uh, theorize about, basically, in these studies. So it's not only about theory, it's also, of course, this is not a philosophical uh, uh, master. It is, you know, theory is, is basically also there to develop ideas for research, uh, create and construct hypotheses, 
that you can ultimately test in a good research design. So this is one type of courses that we offer, right? The theoretical courses. Uh, what is written about this and about these different fields and what can we do with it? Secondly, we have the uh, interactive master classes. Uh, that is, this is another type of course where we, um, uh, that is not lecturing, basically, uh, and not a sort of top-down lecturing and the students reading the literature and you have an exam, but basically more um, uh, master's classes where you uh, have particular topics that we're working on, where we're reading literature, students have to give presentations, there are debates and discussions between students and with the teacher, with the professor in the classroom, basically, um, in all kinds of different ways. And uh, people or the students have to make a choice uh, in uh, the next year between uh, either media and crisis, which is basically on, you know, media is comfortable, it's efficient, uh, we like to communicate, for instance, on social media, we'd like to use chat GPT, uh, perhaps, and perhaps it's efficient, but there are also social problems related to media, and you, we could even argue that perhaps these social problems, whether that is game addiction, or whether that is privacy issues, or whether that is, you know, the replacement of humans through artificial intelligence, all these social problems around media become quite significant and quite uh, uh, prominent in the public debate at the moment. So this is the topic of uh, the master class, uh, Media and Crisis. AI Society is a course that I, I'm providing myself as a master class, which is definitely on AI, the history of AI, um, the... Um, uh, uh, AI in popular culture, uh, AI in everyday life, uh, the, the, the ethical sides of AI, um, but also AI and digital surveillance. All these kind of issues are uh, related to AI and society are discussed in this, uh, in this masterclass, right? So this is, this is a choice that you have to make. So we, we, we want to, on the one hand, offer you all kinds of you know, things, that you, things that are mandatory, we think some of the things that you really have to learn, and at other moments in our master, you can make, and actually should make, uh, choices uh, and make a selection, right? So based on your preference and based on your, perhaps, professional ambitions, uh, these things are pivotal in making choices. So, uh, another, choice that you have to make is a choice between an internship, which is part of our, uh, another part of our, um, uh, our, our master digital media and society, uh, where uh, basically uh, we, uh, you can uh, work for six weeks uh, in a, uh, an organization and put your theory to practice, basically. Uh, work in the professional field in that sense. But you can also keep, uh, uh, ch uh, choose elective courses, right? So if you don't want, most of our students want to do uh, an internship, right? Uh, um, uh, and, uh, but there is also the possibility to, to uh, choose elective courses. And we made three clusters, basically, from which you can choose, which is the cluster digital competences, uh, marketing strategies, or more the marketing direction, if you want to expand and specialize a little bit more in that direction, and international competences, right? So if there are other choices that you want to make, there is, you know, there are possibilities to, to deal with that. So, uh, but most people would, would, would choose to do an internship. Um, and in terms of the practicalities, uh, it's, it's, it's basically 30 work days uh, uh, that you, uh, so six weeks in some, that you, uh, that you work in, a, um, in, a, uh, in an organization, generally in and around, in or around Leuven, in the environment of Brussels. Um, uh, and we have many connections already there with these organizations. We have around 200 organizations that we work with. 
and we try to sort of match your interest um, in a particular field with the uh, with the, the the offices or the the, the possibilities and the uh, and and the organizations that we uh, have contact with. So that is what we try to do: is make this match between, uh, you know, uh, uh, question uh, uh, and 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 the uh, and the opportunities here. So uh, the benefits obviously are that you can put your skills into practice. It's all the, the benefits are also that you experience how it is to work in an environment where digitalization is really grounded. You could say, uh, and the sectors that we are have contact with is. It's, it's very, uh, uh, you know, it goes different ways, like public relations, media production, non-profit organizations, journalism, cultural sector, market research, advertising, marketing, internal and external communication. Uh, all these issues are there, so if you're interested in one of these issues, you should make that explicit so we can work on a great place to have your internship. You know, just an impression of some of the companies that we work with for our internships, uh, where our students at Digital Media and Society are located or situated, um, uh, that is. So, uh, theoretical courses, master classes, internship, uh, and, and another very important part, of course, uh, and particularly in the second semester, uh, of the master, it's a one-year master, as you know, probably, um, is, the, is the master thesis, right? So um, uh, the master thesis is also another way uh, uh, to sharpen your profile, to specialize, to further uh, um, uh, get into particular topics that you're interested in. Uh, so you choose a particular topic uh, based on a wide range of possible master thesis topics that are made available in the first semester. So in the first semester, uh, there are uh, 14 professors working at uh, the Department of Communication Sciences, working from different disciplines, working with different methods, uh, and they are basically offering uh, in some 150 topics that you might want to work on, that you might want to write your master thesis on, and you need to develop a research problem and uh, seek and, and, and uh, uh, select particular methods that you want to work with and do a particular analysis and write a final report, of course. Uh, so you have to choose from these, one, say, 150 topics. But if you have a, an idea of your own and you're very specific about that, you can also contact a, um, a professor to see uh, if she or he is interested in this particular topic. So uh, the allocation of a topic, though, is, uh, 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 is done via a procedure. Uh, that is, basically, you have to apply uh, on a particular topic. We have a top three, then, that you make, like number one, two, two and three. And then you know, we, again, bring together topics, uh, professors, and students. Uh, so you can have a supervisor. You already know that in the first semester what your topic is and what your supervisor is, and then in the second semester, you will particularly work on this master thesis. Um, uh, and, uh, and this is the basic, uh, the basic idea of writing a, a master thesis. Obviously, um, the, before you do the master thesis, which is also in the first semester, you do uh, some um, um, uh, your research design. So research design is always the course that comes before um, the master thesis, where you uh, choose whether you are interested in qualitative research, quantitative research, or digital methods, right? Uh, uh, so that is also part of the first semester, and then the master thesis is in the second semester. So just to give you an idea, if you would, uh, hopefully you already have a sort of idea what the topics are, what the courses are, what we offer in one year. Um, so what if, yes, say this is the first week on campus, uh, this might be the, uh, this is the sort of 
scheme or the timetable that you're working with then. Uh, uh, on Say on Tuesday, you have introduction to digitalization, production and consumption of digital media. On Wednesday, uh, you have psych psychology of social media, research designs. Thursday, you have the master classes. And Friday, you have production and consumption of digital media and some other courses. So this gives you an idea of how much you have to do. Obviously, this, this is, this is, these are the moments where you have contacts uh, with your, uh, with your co-students and with the teachers in terms of a course or in terms of a lecture or a master class. But obviously, there is in addition to that uh, also a lot of, uh, a lot of reading uh, that you have to do, a lot of studying that you have to do, or assignments to make. Uh, that you have to do and hopefully there's also still a lot of spare time so you can enjoy uh, Leuven as a city because obviously particularly for international students uh, um, uh, coming from afar uh, this is very important uh, to know of course that you know that the city of Leuven very close to Brussels uh, uh, is a nice uh, place to reside in it's a very quiet really a student there's a, there's, a, there's a blossoming student life. It's also a quiet city in many, in many ways, in many places. Uh, but more in terms of the, the department, the Department of Communication Sciences is ranked amongst one of the best in Europe. Uh, internationally engaged experts in the fields of digital media are ultimately your teachers, your professors. I mean, we all, obviously, we, we were not only teachers, but we are also researchers. So we publish in international peer-reviewed re journals and have wide and extensive international networks. And we, in that sense, we connect uh, doing research and teaching in many ways. Like if, you, if we teach, it's very much research-based. Uh, we, 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 we base ourselves on the most uh, topical literature, but also our own research in the field. Um, KU Leuven alumni, uh, uh, they are part of a global network. Uh, there's a broad variation in topics and teaching methods. Uh, it's possible to have an additional master abroad. Um, there's a study lab. That means, basically, that if there are courses uh, that are difficult for you, for instance, take uh, um, research design. I mean, we know, for instance, have, you know that for this master you need to have a background in social sciences uh, you need to have some basic methodological knowledge but if it's difficult to do the research design courses for instance uh, you can find study lab that is basically the group of people at k11 uh, at the faculty of social sciences that supports you in your studying um, and that is also there if there are any other problems basically um, and we do have, of course, uh, career perspectives that is, it's difficult to say, and you know, this is what we say about communication sciences in general, it's not like uh, if you will become a dentist, for instance, I mean, you do, you know, very specialized uh, education uh, to become a dentist, and that's not the case, of course, with communication sciences. Uh, but in general, our argument is in a media society where everything is mediatized and every organization and every, um, whether that's commercial or whether that's a public organization, uh, specialists, uh, academic specialists in media and communication are very much wanted uh, because every organization needs to think about what is the message that we want to communicate, uh, what are the tools that we needs to communicate this message, whether that is social media or other tools, uh, and what audiences do we need to reach, and how can we do all these things? So this is one of the broad ideas that we have about communication sciences, that there is always place for a communication scientist. Uh, but more specifically, uh, we see that our alumni, so there are students when they finish the studies, is that they end up in the creative industry, for instance, in in producing text narratives, uh, cultural products, um, uh, uh, becoming journalists, for instance, is another one, uh, working in research and innovation in many ways. And research can also be a commercial 
research, doing research for a commercial company uh, or research for a governmental organization or uh, um, um, developing campaigns, for instance, for a uh, governmental organization, uh, uh, et cetera. And uh, finally, the sort of external communication, that is the marketing strategy, uh, this domain of marketing, advertising, et cetera, et cetera, is also a domain where a lot of our uh, students uh, end up in uh, when they are done with studying. Um, so, uh, like I said, I think, I mean, this is obviously the, the, the function, I think, of the, of the presentation is to give you sort of very short outline of, of what we offer in this, uh, in our program. Um, and I think it's important to, to have an overview, if you want to have an overview of the courses uh, and the detailed description of the contents and the formats in evaluation types, uh, you can find, that, find them on the website. Um, uh, it's easy to apply and obviously there are several, like I said before, several criteria in terms of, you know, language tests and methodological backgrounds um, and your background in social sciences. So there will be an evaluation of your, uh, of your um, portfolio or your uh, resume in that sense. Um, uh, uh, so you can apply and then, you know, the, then the process will... Uh, put into action, you can watch the instructions here, and I think this will all be online, so you can find that out. Um, these are the contacts, right? This is me, the program director, and uh, Elisabeth Struis is the program and intern, uh, in internship coordinator as well. Um, uh, responsible for the study program is Celia Tutanel, ombudsperson is Yasmin, so these are some of the names, I think, to, uh, that are important to contact for, for particular reasons. Um, the study lab, I already mentioned that very shortly, uh, is important to remember that uh, uh, study lab is really there for the support of our students. I mean, we know that studying is not always easy. Uh, and particularly, by the way, if you come from another country that brings in extra difficulties perhaps, right? We hope to sort of uh, have a, you know, create a sort of community that's always the ideal, right? Uh, and I personally, I think it's a very, you know, I like the fact that, that when you're teaching, that there are people coming from different intellectual backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds, and having a very interesting debate, I must say. I mean, uh, that's very, for me as a teacher, that's very rewarding. But at the same time, it's also that uh, there, there can be problems, of course, also because you might be far away from home, even these kind of things. So these kind of questions uh, you can also address uh, to study lab in this respect. I think this is uh, the basic, uh, the basically this is the main points that we want to talk about. Uh, this leaves us to the possible questions that you might have. Are there any questions that you can address to us, basically? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I'm perhaps... Uh, Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. All right. Any other questions that you might have? Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, well. Status. Yeah. 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 And we we actually w we're working also on uh, uh, and that might also start actually next year um, on a uh, well a an, an outline for working students because there are obviously increasingly working students also in our Dutch uh, master communication sciences where we have an outline of what how these two years if you want to spread it in two years how they would look like like and for instance also to make it easy in the sense that we want our students generally to be in class if we give lectures at the same time we're also recording many of the lectures so there is for working students also the option then to to some courses just focus on the recordings and other courses well you need to be there right if there's an interactive class you cannot miss it so there's in, in other words we try to sort of develop a package for students who are working students for two years so they know what they can do and that's easier for working students so they know what to do and also easier for teachers because they know that they don't have to answer all the questions all the time they have a particular format that they can offer right so that's But I agree that it's almost, I would say it's almost impossible to be a working student and work 50% and at the same time do this course, uh, th this master in one year. That's, that's really, uh, I mean, it's, it's really, you see that it's, it's really difficult to do, I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. So other questions? No other questions? All right, good, so uh, well, good luck with the choices that you want to make, and uh, if there's anything, you know how to reach us, hopefully, okay? All right.